Hello friends, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. So in this video, we are going to see what are the different options or what are the different available methods in GCP to export BigQuery table to Google Cloud Storage Bucket. So we are going to do it in two ways. One is, one is using BigQuery console, the other one is using BigQuery's uh, uh, with the help of client library using Python. So this is completely going to be an hands on experience only. So without any further delay, let's get started. So I am in my cloud console. This is my cloud console and I'll open my cloud storage bucket. So this is my BigQuery. I'm going to work on this clustering demo table. So this is under this data set. Here you can see data set is project ID is this. This is my data set ID and this is the data location so we have to cross check and we have to choose only the um, cloud storage bucket which is present in this location us central one to make sure we can go and see yeah here this is the bucket this is the bucket which we are going to use for this demo because this demo this bucket is present in us central one and this uh, table or particularly the data set is also present in us central one and this is the table now we are going to uh, go with the first option how to export to cloud storage bucket using console so if you come here and inside this table you can find this detail schema details preview all those things like query share copy snapshot delete here you can see the export button just click on this export button and export to gcs and browse the gcs location so this is the uh, bucket which we are going to use and the file name is clustering demo and clustering demo dot csv and just click on select the compression you can go for none or you can go for zip file as well so we will go with none then save so the job has been started clustering demo export initiated so it has been initiated so we will we have to wait for like uh, 10 to 15 seconds we will be able to see that uh, um, we will be able to see that uh, script file here like that csv file here clustering demo dot csv so yeah here you can see clustering demo.csv what is the size what is the application type and when it got created what is the stand all those things related to gcs bucket so just click on this and download you will be able to view the data so it has downloaded it so just click here and you will be able to see the data yeah this is the data file csv file string field like uh, emi1 like three uh, totally five folders five columns the same we will cross check here just we will go here you can also see we will be able to see that five files there is no column name so that is what we are able to see it here as well there is no column name so now we are going to go for the second approach using python client library so i have written that script file so importing BigQuery, the service account, that uh, service account JSON key file and creating the client object, BigQuery client object from the service account. This is my bucket name. This is my project and this is my data set ID. So bucket name, project ID, data set ID, table ID. So this is the table ID and this is what the script file is like something like this. We will be able to see it here in the final thing and destination URLs clustering onecsv The same way we created uh, here in this bucket we created a clustering demo.csv file now the same way we are going to create clustering.csv file and this is the gcs part for that final file also like i'll i'll cross check i'll show you i'll compare this with the uh, one which we are going to do also so something like this what's the destination url this is the bucket name and this is the clustering.csv you can write it here or else you can do something like this as well and cut this paste it here and you can do this as well this is also the it will do the exact same thing but there is no change clustering dot csv oh, oh, oh. so it will do the same thing here we are just right uh, we are just passing the bucket name from uh, bucket name from this like bucket name bq bq demo we are just formatting the bucket name and this is the data set reference data set references demo demo gcp hyphen pdg and the table references this table clustering demo table 
and we are uh, we are creating like we are going with the bq client object client dot extract table extract table we are passing the table reference and the destination ui inside table reference we will get this uh, if you print the table reference we will be able to see the data set id as well as those things like project id those details table reference and the location it should be in the same location both the bucket as well as uh, uh, bucket as well as the, both the things big big query table also and once this is completed like we will print this data as exporter you can just execute this file um, and place it yeah it has been executed so the table name the uh, final name it should be clustering.csv once this is done here you can see you now that uh, table reference project id uh, data set id and following by the table name data is exported we can go here and just click it click on the bucket and uh, just refresh this page yeah here you can see clustering.csv and if you copy this and if you cross check here with this both the, both it will be exactly same gs bucket name and followed by csv file and this you can again to cross check you can download it and you will be able to view the file name as well so it dot downloaded i'll just open it i'll show you so the same things five columns and respective table name and the size also it will be same here you can see 21 kb 21 kb csv so that's it for this video uh, i hope you learned something new from this video i'll create more uh, contents in and out around python and uh, cloud platforms like gcp and azure if you have any questions please post in the comment section i'll try i'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible please do like comment share and subscribe to cloud and AI analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content until then it's bye from ignesh happy learning thank you